In Office 365, you have the option to take public folders and enable the ability for people to email them. So that way, people from the outside of the organization or inside can email and have it go directly to that public folder for multiple people to share. So we're in our Office 365 home. From here, we'll click on Admin, and that takes us to the Admin Center. And then we go down to where it says Admin Centers, and we click on Exchange. And now we're in the uh, area of Exchange Admin Center. So on the left-hand side, click on Public Folders. And at the top, click on Public Folders as well. So we've got a Client A and Client B public folders. And you can see here the mail settings are, in, are disabled, which we can enable them simply by clicking Enable. Click Yes. And now it's enabled. You have the option to disable just by checking the Disable box and then that'll all go away. Once we have that set, we can go ahead and make some changes to it. So click the pencil and then we have the option for the email address. So by default, it's going to be client A at whatever our domain is. So if we want to add anything to that or make an additional what's called alias record, we can do that by clicking the plus sign. And of course, we're going to want to stick with an SMTP address. That's the easiest one. And we can just change this. We also want it to go to just client sales at our domain name. Click OK. And there we go. Let's click on mail flow settings. And we have the option to restrict the size for sending and receiving at the top. You can say how many megabytes, otherwise you can just go with whatever the default is at the store level. You can also uh, restrict or allow people to email you from various different senders. You've got all senders by default, or you can say, okay, only the following senders can email this particular location. Let's go ahead and leave it to all senders. If we scroll down and you choose that all senders need to be authenticated first. That means that only people who have an address or I'm sorry, a login into your Active Directory or Office 365 location to be able to actually send email to your organization. So for instance, if I have an email account already on this Office 365, then I can go ahead and send to it. Now you can also reject senders and you can say only senders in the following list and you can go ahead and add. Now you'll have to create a contact first if this is a group of people or individuals from outside your organization. And we have other emails on how to create a contact. So if you just click the plus and type in the address, it won't work. You actually have to create a contact first. So you can see I created a contact previously and we'll just go ahead and click OK. So this user is not in our internal organization. That's an outside person. Now let's just say we don't want that person to be able to email us. And now that we're done, we'll go ahead and click Save. And there'll be a slight delay. And now it's good. We'll go ahead and click Close. And now we are mail enabled. So just to show that it is working, we'll go into our mailbox and we'll click on New. And we'll click on To. And we'll go ahead and type in C and search, and there's client A and client B, which was enabled previously. we we'll go ahead and click on client A, click save, and now you can see it's in the two box, and we can go ahead and send a message to client A, which will show up in the public folder, and anybody who has access to the public folder will then see it. So that's how you create a public folder in Office 365.